I'm starting to work on the grey water tank. I already made an aluminum tray for it. I got some bolts to connect it to the chassis with and I got some metal strips to hang it from. I have to make a 90 degree bend in the strap so I put it in my vise. All kinds of things that I found that I can use and then hope that I can bend it. So well, let's see. That is easier than I expected. I think that that works. Looks good. Hope that works. I hope that works. We'll see. So I can connect it here to the chassis. Then it goes to along the side of the water tank and then it has to make a 90 degree turn inwards. That fits well. Okay, so I bent one of these straps yeah, in, the, in the form that I needed. And I'm fairly satisfied with it. It'll come at this location will be attached here and will be attached here with two screws. And then at the bottom, on the middle rail, I'll make another connection as well just for security. I'm working on the grey water tank. I'm working on uh, a cabinet within the workbench. Um, I'm working now on the workbench top. What I do is I just uh, got me a couple of uh, standard 2x4s. Uh, um, it's cheap uh, and make a uh, worktop out of it. It's not perfect wood but uh, it's easy to change and uh, renew when, uh, when necessary. So, the first thing what I'll do is uh, get off these rounded corners and make the, the wood square. With one side flat, I'll take off the other side. I've done three 2x4s um, and they're now all square, about one and a half by three inches and I'll cut them through the middle so I have uh, two uh, one and a half by one and a half pieces out of each uh, board. By now I've got six pieces of about one and a half by one and a half. I will reduce that to about one and a quarter by one and a quarter, probably mostly on the jointer and the planer. But there's always stress in the wood, so uh, I'll let them be uh, overnight and then continue tomorrow. Okay, and this is what's the third part I was working on. That's a little box with the uh, drawers for inside the, the workbench so I can store at least some basic tools. 
first of all, my a dado uh, blade set in my table saw. Made a few adjustments uh, for the depth of the size of the drawer. And then saw the rabbits first. And this is then how it works. I've got the two sides of the drawer and they are sawn to length, so that's, that's okay. But the width of the front and the back so has to be adjusted. So these are my four drawers and they come between on one only on one side of course uh, between the two legs uh, raised of course this top will be at the top uh, we have one leg here and one leg there Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You're doing a good job.